Hey guys, how are you? So uh, right now we're actually on our way to go look at apartments. What? I know, so crazy. This is like a random surprise, but it's something that we've been looking at online. Like right now, I'm not gonna tell you that we are moving because we, we really do not know. I'm still debating. debating. So we have been looking and our goal is to eventually buy a home for us too and you know our future like kids and stuff for now we either stay living in karina's house or we rent out an apartment or rent a home but i've always like craved you know that like modern style apartment i don't know it's something that i've always wanted and i was talking to karina the other day and she was like you know what like before you get your dream home you've always wanted to live in those kind of apartments like just do it you know rent out an apartment like that knock that out of your wish list and then you know eventually buy your dream home i'm like well that sounds like a great idea i don't know so yeah we are really debating what we're gonna be doing i think just part of me feels bad because you know it's such a big home and obviously like this house is for all of us and me leaving i almost feel like i'm betraying my family it's so weird they all are super understanding about it but something about me just feels so bad because I know like Karina got this big ass house because obviously she knew it was gonna be used up. So it's been it's been hard. Like I think if we were like living in a really, really tight home, it would be not even a question, you know, but because we have literally like our little living room, our kitchen, my filming room. It's like we have it kind of all there. Brian, honestly, he's like, he doesn't mind either. He really does not mind living with my family. I think it would have been so different if we didn't have our own kitchen, have our own living room. Then it probably would would feel maybe a little bit uncomfortable for him. That's completely understandable. Just a little craving. That's literally all it is. And we're looking at apartments and we're trying to see what we're going to do. It, it's honestly so hard. Like, I don't know. Just wanted to share that with you guys because, you know, I'm trying to vlog now. And I have to obviously keep you guys up with what's going on. So I'm currently um, confused. The ones that were made just like this on that side, they don't have these big windows. They're, they're a lot smaller and they don't go down all the way like this to go up to here. Okay. That's one cool thing about it. They all have some fans. And as you can see, it's kind of more open. Yeah. Like the other bedroom is like around the corner over here. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so you kind of have, and this one just has a sliding door. I mean, it's still spacious enough in here, but it won't be a walk-in like the other one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My door starts right here. Uh -huh. So I don't have this extra space. Yeah. Which is cool because you can put like a little chair there, you know, like make it look really yeah, exactly. yeah, the table. Okay guys, so we just got done looking at the apartment. So we had gone uh, last week and we saw a smaller plan, but we wanted the biggest plan that they had because I don't know, I want something like very, very spacious if I do, like if we if we do end up moving out. So this place that we saw, like it's a thousand. Look, little, look, little teaser tips. Yes. Cleaser tips, cleaser tips. Oh my God. Cleaser, cleaser. Cleaser, what does cleaser <laughs> mean? Cleaser. Clips. Yeah, wow. clips. This apartment is a thousand two hundred square feet. I think that is pretty freaking spacious for an apartment. But I absolutely love this. And the lady was like, "So what do you want to do?" I was like, "Well, girl, guess what? I'm really indecisive. So I'm gonna wait like a week and really, really think about it. Like I'm just, I'm so indecisive. And it sucks because these apartments are brand new. They're already t getting taken up really quick. Like they're getting um." Wow, I can't reserved. even talk. Reserved quickly. So I'm like, Lord, make up your mind. Anna, oh my God, I'm quaking. Okay, this is so nice. Okay, our cousin gave us all gifts. Let's see what you got. You're such a liar. What did you get? What you get, Peter? So cute. That's really cute. This, you guys, it's literally glass. What? 
Yeah. So we're here at my cousin's uh, place, Anna. It's her birthday. We're about to play some games. And we got the whole crew here. Peter acting crazy. <laughs> on the blog. You know, I just love Shimani. I'm just <laughs> show you, show subscriber. So you like to come in your home. video and eat a percentage. I really love being in the vlog. Oh my god. She's like, can you get out of it please? Stop. Like, she, she it off and told me all no. So we're here playing some games. They're trying to draw a little man and you're supposed to draw like every individual like body part and run back with a grape in your mouth. It's so funny. Dude, her tree though is gold. So yeah. she let it dry up last year and she just took off like... Looks, you know what it looks like to me? Like a Kardashian would have that. Like, yeah, it's so cute. What's <laughs> up, It should be a different position every time they run over there. Frankie, you ready to rob the bank or not? Oh, hi there. Oh, hi, Take a shot. Oh, right. uh -huh. In this case, we both win. The what? In this case, we both win. Oh, true that. Uh, Lynn? Dude, try this. What is it? Try it. Why do you smell like
seconds into the next round, and look, look what Carlo did. Why? I can't control these big boys. You can't control your balls, bro? Hold on. He does butt chugs because he got to drive home? Yeah. You don't want to smell like alcohol. Shot for losing and shot for breaking all the shots, hmm? Okay. Right, right, right it down. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait. I can't see this. Where? Okay. Shenanigans. None of these work. Oh, there we go. Can y'all see that? I hope y'all see that. Don't let it fall. Where is your dream vacation? And see if they guessed it. Where's your dream vacation? You know. Neighbors, no. Yeah. Damn. Hey, hey, bro, it's not your fault. She's complicated. Till. Okay. Cheers. No parents here, really. Right. My mom left already. Favorite sex position. <laughs> No, no, they're gonna be on their back. They're gonna say it and we're gonna read it off the back. They're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, they like to go? No, no, they're writing it. Don't worry. Okay, Janet, where's Saul's favorite store? Home Depot. Yes, it is. Home Depot. Anna, what's Rafa's favorite store? <laughs> no. Sack Fifth Avenue. Oh, oh, oh. sorry. No. Chingos. What? Chingos. Chino Swami. No, Home Depot. <laughs> I think you could cut it wherever you want, so you see if you get the dog. <laughs> no, I can't. I know, that's what I thought. It's oh, okay. It looks like Phaser Wayama. I'm literally, if I get the dog, I'm going to swallow it. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> you didn't get it? <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Why do we have like. Did anyone get a mono yet? Uh, I don't think. Oh, yeah? That's what we want this piece? Yeah, I want Dan, that's the best piece. What? Oh, I thought you really did. Oh, you did it. You wanted it. No, you wanted it. There's a lot. You got it? You got oh my gosh, you got it. You're Dara? Oh my god. <laughs> you didn't get it? Uh, I didn't get no baby. Happy birthday to you! Woo! Woo! Oh my god. So cute. Thank you. Saul and his family. Hmm. 
Alright guys, so I'm back home. Brian's literally knocked out. So I've been up thinking literally about this apartment. I like, I've been going through the clip over and over again. Um, I think I'm going to go tomorrow and take Karina with me. Because I feel like I always need people's opinion. See what she thinks because these apartments are already like, you know, waiting for... Whoever wants to like reserve them, like literally if we reserve it, we'll move within like the next week. So I'm like, wait. I don't want to feel like rushed or anything. Like I said earlier, we are just looking. We're not in any rush. So we're pretty much just trying to look and I've been really, really like really thinking about this. Because I feel like I keep going back to like, is it worth renting an apartment? Like it's really worth it. At this point, like I... I don't mind renting like I don't so and then another thing was Peter was telling me like are you just like afraid of like leaving the nest and like that kind of like sank in and, and I thought like maybe I am afraid of just leaving because I know when me and Karina moved um out of the house to the apartment two years ago like I was super super depressed just because we're so like family oriented and we're just like so used to being around my family like 24 7 but then i got like completely used to living on my own well not living on my own i was living with karina and then we got used to it and then we moved back to um together in another house and that was like amazing and here we are in a house that karina bought you know this house is gonna be here if i ever feel uncomfortable i can always come back over here like my mom already told me if you don't like it you can always like come back um but i feel like once i leave it's like that's it so i don't know if i'm just afraid of like completely just leaving i don't know it's it's a little tough but then again like i'm already married like i should totally feel like a full grown adult already the face is washed off i'm looking a little dead right now it is a little late i'm going to sleep right now um but like i was saying we are in no rush and they almost feel rushed with this place because th these buildings are very very new if we were to actually move into the apartment we'd be the first living there this building just opened up today i'm telling you guys i'm super like indecisive i've talked to my family about this my mom tells me like yeah i totally get it you're married you probably want your own space and your own home you're young you obviously want to like live on your own it's completely normal but i almost feel like bad because you know karina did get this house knowing we were all gonna live here and it's it's perfect for like us because we're such a big family and i feel so weird like oh well guess what karina i found a new place bye and she's not even like she totally understands she totally totally gets that i'm like married and i want to have my own place she even tells me like girl if i was married like i'd be out so quick me and karina go back like to the apartments and when we left the apartment to go back in not to where we were living but to go just back to living with my family in the house that we were renting like we kind of had talked about how you know like this is something we both wanted to do to like get the whole family back together in a big home so we did that we rented a house and then she purchased this house and me leaving is kind of like i almost feel like i'm just backstabbing karina it sounds so horrible the way i'm explaining it and she'll like literally laugh every time i explain to her i feel like i'm making it a lot more complicated than it is for sure so um yeah i'm gonna go to sleep guys good night and if we do anything productive tomorrow maybe look at the apartments or not uh, I will see you guys tomorrow or another day. Bye.